hello and welcome to my all seasons lemonade stance so for today's video i will be doing another sunscreen review um on my last video i did say that i'll be taking a break from youtube like making youtube videos and stuff like that i'm posting because i am focusing on my studies but this week is my reading week so i do have a week off so i do have more time for videos so I'm kind of excited. I'm going to post some more videos later this week. But yeah, hope you enjoy this video and future videos. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, on my last sunscreen, Asian sunscreen review video, I did talk about a certain sunscreen. I think it was a Derma B one. The Derma B every, every day sunblock. And I was skeptical of the UVA protection because I only had avobenzone. And since then, I would say I'm not as skeptical, but I do still prefer certain filters like Uvinol A+, and some broad spectrum filters like Tinosorb M or Tinosorb S to cover for UVA protection. Because when you look at that video, I was raving about, what was it, the Nivea Watery Sun Gel and also the, what was it called? It was like the Rehaku Hatumugi one, but yeah, those ones only had three filters, so I can't really say like, oh yeah, this is not covering enough for this because of blah 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 filters, because like when you look, you can't really judge the the UVA and UVB protection just by looking at the filters it's really you have to think of the formulation overall that's just my preference for the kinds of filters I want in my sunscreen because what was it I think it's the Crave Beauty one and fortunately their sunscreen didn't pass the test so it was lower then it's um, labeled SPF and the P8 rating. I don't know. They didn't give too much information on the results, but they had a pretty wide variety of filters. So yeah, definitely can't judge the um, protection just based off of the filters. So, and I, I don't, I really don't want to be spreading mis misinformation because like, who am I to, you know? I'm just like a person who likes skincare and stuff i definitely recommend watching dr dre's video on um she's like talking about the like the whole scandal you know the sunscreens and stuff and just talking about how you can't just look at the filters and to tell you like how much protection you're getting so definitely recommend watching her channel also beauty lab muffin is that <laughs> Is that her channel's name? Michelle Beauty Lab Muffin. Her videos are really good too. She, so Dr. Dre is a dermatologist and then Beauty Lab Muffin, she has like a PhD in biochemistry. So she does know about like skincare formulation and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely recommend. I will link their videos in the description because who am I to talk about skincare? I know nothing. I'm just enthusiastic and like, <laughs> so let's get started sorry for that rant but i will start with the nisha safe aqua sun block sun <laughs> it's just sun um i know they um they reformulated this one this used to be um like it was it was called the sun gel it's really similar it looks like this it has like a rounded cap see so this is a newer version this is the older version i know a lot of people prefer this one because it was um more mattifying and more lightweight i think this it had suns oh, sunscreen <laughs> it had alcohol in it well this one does not so that might be the reason why. The filters on this one, it has ethyl hexyl salicylate. So that's for UVB, homosalate for UVB, tinosorb 
M, yeah, yeah, tennis orb M and tennis orb S for broad spectrum. Polysilicone 15 for UVB. Yes, and Uvenol A plus for UVA protection. So yeah, pretty wide range of filters. It also has sodium hyaluronate. So that's good for hydration because it does claim to be very hydrating and also cooling on the skin. I would say it's cooling at first and then it does wear off a bit after. So the cooling effect doesn't really last as long. The texture on this is more of a gel cream. Um, the fragrance, because it does have added fragrance. I don't know how to explain it. I don't think it's a floral scent. It has like a like a fresh fragrance <laughs> to it. It's very not descriptive at all, but yeah, it's like fresh smelling. And I would say that the fragrance does linger for a while. So if you're bothered by that, I don't recommend this. The finish on this, I would say is definitely more, oh God, I need to stop saying definitely. I say definitely way too much. It's more of a glowy finish. So if you're looking for an affordable sunscreen, everyday sunscreen, and you don't mind the hydration and the uh, glowiness and the fragrance, then I recommend this one because this one is pretty affordable. I think I got this for like eight or nine dollars. So yeah, pretty affordable. I would say I don't dislike this one. But it's definitely, oh god, I said definitely again. It's not my favorite. Next up is the Farmstay Psychopharm Nature Solution Sun Cream. Right, so this one, in terms of filters, I think it also has a wide range. Yeah, octocrylene. Octo yeah, octocrylene. So this covers UVB and a little bit of UVA2 rays. Um, octanoxate, so that's UVB, ethyl hexyl salicylate, that's UVB, um, it has avobenzone, and so, oh, avobenzone, UVA, and tinosorb S, so that's broad spectrum. So yeah, this one has Centella asiatica, leaf extract, and metacasticide, so it, it is more calming on the skin yes in terms of texture it is kind of like similar to the misha one like a gel cream oh yeah i was gonna say so this one has tennis orb m so there's a chance that it can leave a white cast on deeper skin tones so yeah this one does not have tennis orb m so yeah, I'm pretty sure it won't leave a white cast. But yeah, this one also has added fragrance and it smells like it smells like a, like a specific type of flower. Um, it smells really, really, really similar to the Derma B one, the Derma B Everyday Sunblock. So yeah. And this one, this fragrance, it does linger as well. Does it have alcohol? Oh, let's see. No, no alcohol for this one either. Yeah. So the finish on this, it's, it's pretty glowy. Um, I would say out of all the sunscreens that I'm talking about today, this has the most glowy finish. And then this is the second most glowy finish. Also, this stung my eyes and like I didn't do anything like I was just at home and uh, it's not like I was sweating or you know active or crying <laughs> it stung my eyes so I tried it again and it stung my eyes again so for this one I just avoid putting it on my eyes because it stung my eyes and like I feel like for me, a lot of sunscreens don't sting my eyes. This was also very affordable. 
So if you're looking for affordable sunscreen, you don't mind the hydration, you don't mind the glowiness, and you don't have sensitive eyes, and you don't mind fragrance, then sure, why not? <laughs> okay, next is the Isntree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. Oh, this is a pretty popular one. But this is the uh, most expensive one out of all the sunscreen I'm talking about today. So it's filters. This has a pretty wide range of filters as well. It's a mix of both. Actually, these three are a mix of both new generation and old generation filters. Ethyl exo salicylate, so UVB, homo salate, UVB as well. Tinisorb S, so broad spectrum. Tinisorb M, also broad spectrum. Polysilicone 15s, UVB, and Uvenol A plus for UVA. As this also has Tinisorb M, like this one here. So there is a chance of a white cast for deeper skin tones. But for me, there's no... Ugh, I'm thirsty. <laughs> there's no white cast. Why is my nose dripping? Okay. So the texture for this one is also like a gel cream. But I would say in comparison to these two here, this feels more lightweight when you spread it on the skin. There's no added fragrance for this one and no alcohol. Well, what was I gonna say? But the smell is definitely, <laughs> is that definitely again? It's definitely, <laughs> so the smell, it's it has like a typical like sunscreen smell yeah it has it has that sunscreen smell if you if you know what i mean if you have tried the paula's choice the non-greasy sunscreen one it's in the purple bottle non-greasy but it's definitely greasy <laughs> that one it smells pretty similar to this finish on this i would say it is on the the glowier side, but I would say it's like glowy to natural finish. Okay, so it also has centella, some fruit extracts, and niacinamide. And I I do like that it's hydrating and good for sensitive skin. On um, my skin, because I started using retinol, I'd sometimes it got like see this right here. Yeah, I got sensitive. And this really pulled through and I needed a sunscreen that didn't irritate my skin. So this is, I would say this probably will be good for a sensitive skin as it says in the description. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, this is good if you can afford it. Um, I would say since, because of its price tag, it's like $20. So I wouldn't buy it again because it didn't amaze me. If it amazed me, then I would buy it for twenty dollars. But since it's, it did not, it was pretty like it was pretty good, but it wasn't amazing. So, yeah. Next is this is the B Lab Matcha Hydrating Real Sunscreen. This one I really like how it's a smaller packaging. I think they're going for like a more eco friendly because look, it's like. Recycled PE. So I think they use like a little bit of recycled plastic. Not sure what that means. <laughs> and they use like a minimal packaging. Like compared to these ones, this is a lot smaller. Like what I like to do sometimes is <laughs> I, I like to see how much a package is, is full or like how much I have left of a package so I use a flashlight and then I go like this and then you can see how much is left so yeah or how much like they give you so these ones actually were like filled about halfway through packaging like these three and I'm not sure why they do that I, don't, I have no idea but yeah 
these three were filled like halfway through when i first got them this one was filled up all the way so that's pretty nice moving on to filters so ooh, this one has sulfonic acid so that's also called mex mex mexerel sx which is also in canadian sunscreens some canadian sunscreens like the umbrella one yeah that that those ones are not bad but they do pill um yeah so that's for uva ethyl hexosurfate uvinyl t150 is um uvb polysilicone 15 uvb um uvinyl a plus for uva and tinnosorb s so broad spectrum so this has new generational filters new generation new generational <laughs> new generation filters and it does have niacinamide and it, it does contain alcohol but no added fragrance for this one so out of all of the sunscreens this has the most gel texture I would say it's still like a gel cream, but definitely more of a gel. The smell, it's... It kind of smells like glue. <laughs> just a tiny bit, just, yeah, a tiny bit. Not too much like glue, but yeah. I don't know why not enough people talk about the sunscreen. It's, it's actually really nice. It's... I feel like it's pretty lightweight on the skin and the finish of this is is uh, I would say like natural to glowy but definitely more on the natural side um this is probably out of all the sunscreens I'm talking about today this is the most lightweight so yeah this is I don't know it's really nice and it's it has matcha and common ice plant, so it does have a cooling effect on this one. But I'm not sure. I, I don't think it lasts, like, obviously it doesn't last, like, the whole time. But you definitely, definitely, <laughs> definitely feel a uh, coolingness to this. Obviously, with a lot of sunscreens, you need to... Um, let it dry down for a bit most of the time it's like more than 20 minutes which i know is not ideal but what are you gonna do a lot of sunscreens are like that so this is super affordable as well it was what i think it was eight dollars and i got it on sale so it was like seven dollars so it's really cheap definitely recommend this one um, when my skin was compromised it did sting a little bit because is compromise <laughs> my skin but besides that i really like this one next up is the this one yeah this is the omni verdeo uv moisture gel yes <laughs> waterproof it does come in a smaller bottle i don't know how, how many milliliters or grams but it does come in a small smaller bottle <laughs> so in terms of filters it has octanoxate so for uvb uvinyl a plus for uva titanium dioxide so broad spectrum so that's uvb uva2 rays and it's apparently less good at uva1 rays but broad spectrum and it also has Tinnosorb S, so that's also broad spectrum. And Uvinyl T50, so UVB. In terms of ingredients, it has, it has skullcap root extract. And yeah. Yeah, skullcap root extract, so it's soothing on the skin. It also doesn't have any alcohol or fragrance, so I would say this is really good for uh, sensitive skin for the most part. So the texture is like a watery gel-ish texture. Yeah, it's definitely the more of a milky texture. 
but it's kind of like a like a liquidy gel in my opinion because it has some more has a bit of body to it <laughs> if that makes sense yeah since it has titanium dioxide it might leave a white cast so yeah that texture um the finish of this i would say it is on the glowier side but it does when you give it some time it does dry down to a natural finish so it's really nice um this one you could use on the face and the body but since it's so huge i'll definitely use this more for the body so when you leave it like after 20 minutes which is usually the time i give for sunscreen to dry down or settle in it still has that how do i say it's not tacky but it has that uh, kind of sticky feeling i don't know how to explain it but i think that's because it's the waterproofness <laughs> i'm so bad at explaining i think i got this for like 24 dollars canadian dollars this is so affordable like this is 220 grams so i definitely recommend this one i think i'll continue to keep using this for the body i, I don't mind it on the face but i like um sunscreens for the face that are more on the creamier texture or like um, gel cream texture all right next up is the boj relief sun rice and probiotics yeah, I gave up on say, trying to pronounce Joseon. <laughs> I just gave up, you know, from my unboxing video. But, yeah. <laughs> Beauty of Jo... Jo... Sun... 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 B.O.J. <laughs> this one has been super, super popular as well. Like the Century one. But this is more affordable. Um... I think I got this for like about $12, 12, 11, 13. <laughs> um, in terms of filters, it has Juvenal A+. What? This is the wrong one. I think they reformulated it. Did they reformulate it? So Juvenal A+, so UVA, Juvenal T150, UVB, Tinnosorb M, so broad spectrum, and with it. Oh, and Uvisorb. Uvisorb. So, I think it's broad spectrum. Yeah, UVB and UV1. U UVA1 range. So, UVB and a bit of UVA. So, yeah, I think it's all new generation filters as well like this one and it does have tinnosorb m so there's a chance of a white cast for this one yes so there's a bit of exfoliation in it which is interesting in a sunscreen um niacinamide and they have camellia sin which is basically like green tea yeah camellia Cam Camellia sin sin sign sign it. <laughs> okay, I'll stop there <laughs> for soothing. Yeah, so they have the green tea for soothing, rice for brightening, and the pumpkin from an extract for exfoliation. So that's interesting, but yeah, they have a lot of extra benefits for this one. So this one doesn't have any alcohol or added fragrance, which is nice. It does, um texture out of all of these i think this is the most creamy texture but i think it still falls under like a gel cream but definitely more of a creamy texture it feels super lightweight on the skin and the finish i would say is like a glowy to natural finish but when you give it a bit of time maybe like an hour the it's like a natural finish but yeah i out of all of these this is my favorite in terms of texture and finish like it's so it's so beautiful <laughs> um the smell 
I don't know how to explain it. It's like, it just smells like a generic moisturizer. Like if you, yeah, it smells a bit like, like Cetaphil maybe. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. So yeah, this one kind of smells like Cetaphil as well, but a bit of glue. <laughs> so yeah, it smells like, you know, just a generic moisturizer. Like it doesn't have any offensive smells, so that's nice. What else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, the only downside of this is it leaves. Okay, there you go. You see that? Yep. <laughs> It creases in my eyes, which can be annoying, but considering how much I love the texture and the finish, I'm gonna buy it again. <laughs> and it's pretty affordable. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll, I was gonna say, yeah, these are all 50 milliliters or grams. No, yeah, all 50 milliliters. But yeah, this one. I kind of want to buy it again just because I just love the texture and the finish like I don't really care if I just have to rub in the this one just to get rid of it I don't know I, I really liked it the only thing is that yeah the creasing and also it did sting a bit when my skin was compromised but today I I'm actually yeah I I'm wearing this right now and I did try it on again and it didn't um, sting as much which is good so, yeah gonna wanna buy it again these two are really nice there's one last one which I will be re-reviewing because I, I did talk about this in the um, in my last sunscreen review video but I will be doing a proper <laughs> review because I felt like that review, that um, review video was not that good. <laughs> I don't think it was that good. I didn't really talk about like the formulation and other stuff, but yeah. So this is the Skin Aqua UV Super Moisture Essence Gold. So I think, I think this is more waterproof compared to the original one, like the one in the white bottle. All right, so in terms of filters, this has octinoxate, so UVB and, no, no UVA. So yeah, octinoxate, so for UVB, tinosorb M, I mean tinosorb S. Let me start again. <laughs> so it has octinoxate for UVB, tinosorb S, which is broad spectrum. Um, Uvenol A plus for UVA and Tinosorb M for broad spectrum. Yes. So yeah, it also has Tinosorb M. So there's a chance that this will leave a white cast on deeper skin tones. But for me, it does not. It just takes some rubbing in, a bit more rubbing in to get rid of the white cast. Um, I think this is still my favorite. I'm gonna be honest. In terms of texture, these are my favorite in terms of the finish. Um, they're, they're all my favorite, but this, I don't know, it just, I just love this so much. <laughs> it does have um, alcohol in it, but no added fragrance, which is nice. What else? The texture... You know what? Let me compare the this one and Beauty of Joseph. Texture, I would say, is, is on the creamier side, like Beauty of Joseph. Oh, look, they look so similar. Okay. Yeah, so definitely on the creamier side, but still like a gel cream. Ooh, they're really similar. So that's Skin Aqua and that's BOJ. This doesn't really have any you know, weird smell. It smells like uh, milk. Like a milky, yogurty kind of thing. I think the BOJ one feels more jelly and c 
comparison to the, the skin aqua one but yeah the skin aqua i would say the finish is like glowy to natural finish but but more glowy so it is more glowy <laughs> compared to the boj one um what was i gonna say Yeah, I just love the texture. I love the finish. Um, I love the smell. I, and it did not irritate my skin when it was compromised. So that was good. So these two really came through when my skin was compromised. Um, I don't. I didn't try this enough when my skin was compromised, and I didn't try this enough either. So I can't really tell for those ones. But these two did sting my skin when it's when my skin was like irritated so yeah i think that's it i this is a really really long video <laughs> so these are my faves i my faves my babes i will repurchase of oh, these ones yeah so for the body for the face and yeah so i hope you enjoyed Hope you enjoyed i hope it was helpful maybe i just i love talking about sunscreen and skincare but yeah i'll see you in the next one i actually i bought i bought more sunscreens but i'll be using those maybe like later next year so yeah i'll be doing another sunscreen review video but very very later on like next year sometime <laughs> so yeah i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye